everybody. This is Leonard Lee, Executive Analyst at Next Curve. Yeah. And I'm here with... Ah, yes, Dr. Dr. Brad at Transforming Sites. Yeah, and this is, we are at CES 2024, if you're wondering. And this is day two or three? Day it's two. two. Yes. Yeah, but actually it's more like day four for me. Right. Day four, three for you. Yeah. And uh, this is the second official day of CES. So here's the thing. If you're an analyst and you come to CES, you completely lose track of time. Right. It's a lifetime. Okay? You do not know what day it is. But, hey, you know, uh, what are some of your takes? I mean, what do you think? I mean, this is day two. We've been here for, like, four or three days. What are some of the key takes? So, uh you know, an emphasis on sustainability, whether or not it's ambient IoT technologies, uh, you know, solar cell optimization. There's, there's a kind of an interesting focus on geopolitics relative to anybody who's in an ecosystem in which, you know, they play a part, making sure that they have a kind of a handle on how they play across nation states. Which it's like is a really mitigation kind of thing? Interesting. Okay. Well, you know, it's just saying. depending on how things evolve in the next political season. That has yeah. up in numerous conversations. Uh-huh. And of course, you know, AI in general, including, uh, you know, kind of microprocessing, power and memory uh, optimization, kind of at the edge of pushing the boundary of what's possible. At the edge, actually, in IoT and other things. Yeah. Super interesting. It's just yeah. amazing. Flying cars, of course. It's flying cars. Yes. Seriously. Um, yeah, flying cars are kind of cool. I mean, you know, that tends to be on the gimmicky side of stuff. But, you know, one of the things that I've already, like, posted about on LinkedIn and, you know, other channels is, uh, you know, uh, for several years, CS has kind of become a semi-auto show, or at least the auto invasion started around 2016 and just took off from there. And one of the things that's really notable is that there seems to be sort of a decline. You know, we don't see a lot of the big, uh, big, uh, you know, three automakers here. In fact, they're not here. Uh, we see some of the German players, but a ton of Chinese players, South Korean players, Oddly, not a lot of Japanese players. And, you know, in 2017, the Japanese really kind of uh, took on the mantle of being the innovators for that particular year, you know, introducing things like e-palace. So all this autonomous stuff, you know, uh, you know, these alternative uh, transportation or what we call, you know, I think we now commonly call e-mobility solutions. They're kind of like, you know, the Japanese are kind of pioneering a lot of stuff. They're not really here. Other than, you know, Sony uh, and Honda, who have that partnership under that Afila brand that I covered earlier in the year. But, you know, it's changing. The, the auto scene here is changing. And, you know, in terms of insights, I'm sorry. I, I really can't speak of anything else because I've been stuck in Hall in the West Hall for two days. And that's mostly automotive, right? And so, yeah, we'll, we'll you know, do another recap here, but, you know, I'll, I'll be hitting the uh, North. North Hall, the Central, and then hanging out here in uh, the Venetian because there's a lot of great stuff here. It's just, you know, we're probably, I'm a probably, and we're probably collectively only halfway through our agenda for CES 2024, but... Uh, Anyways, a lot of cool stuff. I mean, AIPC just started to delve into that today, talking to some of the big semiconductor players as well as the OEMs. And uh, there should be more insights that we'll share uh, in our recap. Uh, either, you know, if we, we manage it for the end of this week or next week. So make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe to our, yeah, <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. And like, you know, squash the like button. I don't know if you squash the subscribe button too, but you can squash that as well. And remember to follow us at www.transformainsights.com and www.next-curve.com. And, you know, I do want to give credit to our friends at Lenovo. 
uh, you know, we're here, and they have some really great messaging. Work for humankind. And you know what? It sounds, you know, kind of, you know, but it's important. It is. Human kinds, not technology kinds. Right. Agreed. Agreed.